Right now for a look at the road ahead for the company and for the economy, because this company is a pretty good gauge of the economy, we want to bring in Jim Fish. He is the CEO of WM. And uh, Jim, it's great to have you here today. It's good to be here. So let's talk a little bit about the earnings. This is the first time you're kind of talking um, uh, with the media about those earnings. It did show um, a little bit of a miss from what Wall Street was expecting in terms of free cash flow and a few other metrics, but stronger numbers than you had a year ago. What, what happened? What are we looking at? Yeah, I mean, it was still up 9.5% yeah. for the year, 8.8% uh, for the quarter. So we felt good about the numbers. The big story was really talking about the investments they're going to be making in sustainability projects, uh, RNG, renewable natural gas, and recycling. So that it, it was a bit of a kind of a two-part conversation, one talking about what the earnings look like, the other talking about what the future is going to look like. Yeah, that, those numbers were a surprise to analysts, too. Increased yeah. investment, especially when it comes to natural gas plants, more plants that you're going to be bringing right. on. Why don't you talk a little bit about that business, what it, what it does, and where you see it headed for the future? So we felt like, you know, buying a business that's going to, that you're basically buying at three times earnings is, is better than turning around and buying it uh, from a third party for ten times earnings. So we felt like renewable natural gas, which, by the way, is a byproduct of these landfills. It comes out of the landfill no matter what, and about half of it was being monetized. Now with designation as renewable natural gas, we can monetize the whole piece. I was up in Canada uh, outside of Montreal, and, and one of their plants that they're about to build, it's going to cost us $115 million to build it, and it's going to generate $44 million a year in EBITDA. So it's kind of a no-brainer for us, and it's good for the environment as well. And you're going to keep that. Uh, uh, I guess you've laid that to rest, right? It, yeah. It, it's, why do people think you should spin it off just to, I don't know. You know, it was, a, it was an interesting question that they asked. Uh, it's in its infancy right now, so yeah. let's, let's build it out, and then we'll decide down the road if we want to keep it or not. But right now it makes sense for us to, we own the gas, it uh, makes sense for us to keep the business. So let's say we get a rip roaring economy when the Fed finally eases yeah. or whatever. What does, how do volumes go up? At a time? How much can it really go up? Is it, is it inelastic or does it really make a difference? Can you gauge the strength of an economy from how much trash we're, we're making? I think, Joe, for our business, because we're a big business, it, it kind of goes with the economy for the most part. Doesn't volumes really of trash move yeah. with the economy. The recycling business is, is, has a little more volatility to it because of commodity prices. We've tried to take a bit of that out by re restructuring some of these contracts, but... And uh, people, you're in that... Would you be in that business if your customers weren't asking for it? What, what, it's, what 5% of profits, would you say? It, yeah, I mean, I think, I think we'd absolutely be in the business if would, our customers yeah. weren't asking of for recycling. it. Recycling. Right. Of recycling, yeah. because right, right, it's, right. Not a, it's not a profit driver, really. But, but, and, and it's so volatile with, with commodity prices. And it well, would, it is a profit driver, particularly after changing those contracts. I would tell you four years ago, right. when commodity prices talk, really yeah. dipped, you end up with a kind of a, at best, break-even business. Now, we still have good margins on the business, even when profits uh, or when prices dip. So it's a good business for us. And, and yeah. uh, you know, as we have rebranded ourselves as a sustainability company, it makes sense to be in the recycling business. You must sure. love the natural. That gives you a growth in. It's something to talk about. It's sexier than for sure. it's just the dumpsters and everything else. Right. Right? Well, look, I, th I think over the next next four years, you'll see our EBITDA grow by somewhere between 30 to 40 percent. Because of? Because, uh, and in part because of this renewable natural gas business. The renewable natural gas.